Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against Error 404, oh, well, I'm going to be with Error 404 as my partner, and we're going to be up against Tiger Lake and Sathu Hafid. Now, the map was Desert Treasure. Now, before we jump straight into the battle, I would strongly recommend for you to subscribe and hit the like button or thumbs up or smash the like button. And of course, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to be the yellow player. And my partner, Error404, is the red player. So yes, I am using a construction boost. Build the construction or the uh, supply center first. And then the power plant comes right next. And then the barracks right after. And then build another power plant and two more supply center. And then of course a vehicle factory. This is to speed up the upgrade process of the HQ. And the vehicle factory to of course allow me to build a shipyard. As it is a prerequisite. Now of course I switch to another boost. A gold scouting boost here. As the boost itself whenever you change to another boost. As long as the timer is drawing close to finishing it will stay that way or at least close to what it was um shortened rate now this gives my rifleman a chance to collect more containers on land which what i am doing right now as you guys can see okay yeah and my riflemen were so far ahead that i could not even see those assaults of his even uh, i mean at this point <laughs> Now, of course, the uh, common production boost has been used. And then, of course, after the commons popped out, I'm going to have to collect some containers on the ocean. Okay. Still collected the container in the middle, except for this one and this one, which is, well, basically closer to his base. All right. Well, that's that. It's good. Okay. Gun tower here on my end to prevent any pending or cheesy tactics such as delta rushes. So we got a battle going on here, an assault and a cyclone against a rifleman and a coyote. It's not really looking good. My partner actually lagged here for a lot, so that wasp came out late. There's a scout right here, where in which this Cerberus, or the Cerberus of the CN player, will also be delayed. However, I can't really get this container right here due to the fact that this guy can use the Deltas to obtain that super container. Meanwhile, on my end, I will be lacking in terms of whatever I can use to obtain that super container except for rifleman, armadillo, wasp, and or dragonfly. So that's why I did not even bother building the Avia factory at the start of the game knowing that knowing this information ahead of time. So instead I used my Kaimans to obtain that super container or help out my partners to obtain that super container. However with the presence of those two cyclones and that Cerberus it's highly or it's unlikely that we actually obtained it. So yes, heading straight to HQ level 4 as there are not many threats going on the ocean side of the thing, map. Okay, so moving forward, Cerberus is not out. And I'm pretty sure that he used a Delta along with some assaults to gather this super container around here. That's why he built or produced that Cerberus in order to attack me. So yeah, I even have this hidden infantry go over here and be hidden so that of course I can see any pending attacks coming from the bottom side of the map which I already anticipated before the bat battle even started. Scout here uh, from Era 404 to see what the blue guy has for his base. We got like vehicle factory level 3, X facility level 2 for a seraphim, vertex airfield, special vehicle factory. Okay, so it's kind of looking like... Hmm... Vertex, Zeus, Typhoon, shenanigans. Okay, so as expected, that server is actually it's going to rendezvous with the Delta in the assault right here. That's why I immediately put up another gun tower, for I don't think one gun tower will be enough to stop this advance. And then, of course, I'm going now to upgrade my shipyards to level 2, as this guy, or the CM player, spent too much resources obtaining... The uh, super container as well as spend too much resources for those deltas assault as well as the servers in general. Okay, here we go. Switch to 
common defense boost. So gun towers are primarily attacking the Cerberus, for it has armor level 2 in its... Well, I don't know why they're attacking that uh, Cerberus to begin with. And then switched targets, and then again went back to the Cerberus. Cerberus has been destroyed at the expense of one of my gun tower and a bunch of deltas. There you go. And now they saw that I almost have an, a research or prototype facility level 3. And I'm already expecting a uh, Seraphim, as I saw from this guy right here, already have an X facility level 2. Therefore, Seraphim is coming next. He basically rushed it. There goes the Seraphim along with the Vertex. However, my Porcupines are targeting the Seraphim along with some Riflemen and the Hawk targeting that Seraphim. Yeah. On a common defense boost along with the Wasp. Yeah. Great job, brother. Anti-air from the platform. Very good. It's useless damage. Actually helped out a lot. And now, I actually tried to repair this prototype facility, however, lag kicked in. Lag in boy. So technically, there was no repair, and then another Seraphim from Hafid came here to finish the job. At the expense of another Seraphim. Yeah, that, that Seraphim will basically be destroyed. Yeah? Hmm. So, technically, I lost one gun tower, and, uh, well, that's that. And then, Hafid lost Deltas, Cerberus, Seraphim. This guy lost Seraphim and the Vertex in exchange for one building. Yay! At this point in time, I am expecting an attack from the ocean, sincerely because I rushed the, Ser the Leviathan, however... It actually failed because of them sniping my prototype facility. Hence, adding more naval platforms here, along with some alligators to help me defend on uh, the ocean, is actually a good idea. Meanwhile, a good position here laid out by a tiger-like to defend that ground. And my partner in general is also lagging for some reason. Okay, so we see here two Poseidons. And the Viking, so I'm going to have to retreat, give him that super container once again. And uh, let's see how my partner is doing here. Vertex ain't no longer that good. Mole here to defend. Of course, repair and whatever. There you go. Hawks here from my partner. Trying to destroy that Zeus. And those uh, Jaguars. Kablooey. Finally. After stop dancing. Okay. Got like five alligators here. Waiting for him to attack, and it is still with less than the 10 minute mark. Therefore, my platforms will have a bonus radius by 1. Or range, torpedo range. And now at this point, after those alligators that popped up here, that immediately melts every Vikings that this guy have, or Hafid have. So therefore, I can go ahead and demolish everything here, including the Poseidon. Yeah. Very bad positioning. He overwhelmingly underestimated what I have right there. Meanwhile, while all that is going on, I am producing my Leviathan to finally show up and of course help me out in this battle. So last of the Viking has been destroyed. I'm going to have to try and get rid of these, uh, of this uh, Poseidon that's, that tried to attack my base while I only lost a few number of alligators and he lost all his Vikings. And so at this point, he even have three shipyards level 2. The same, basically the same exact thing as I have. Going back to my partner, he actually managed to get a hold of that super container. So that's actually good for him. Let's see what's going on here. He's now producing that Leviathan. Along with one Avia Factory for Hawks. Okay. And again, those uh, Vertex are trying to snipe him down. And yeah... 3 Vertex does that much damage to a Typhoon. I don't think that is a maxed out Typhoon, by the way. Okay. Alligators, 3 at a time. Wasp is now queued up here. Additional um, supply centers to, of course, for me to keep up the uh, production. 
Okay. All right, those vertex are still trying to be annoying and so on. Now I'm going to have to try and amass as many alligators as I can to, of course, overrun that annoying um, Vikings and Poseidon. Again, good defensive line here from uh, uh, from Tiger Like, and my partner is dominating the mills section of the map. More hawks are now on the way. Leviathan just popped out. Okay, now. So let's see what's going on here. Hafid actually opted out for Azus, so this tells me a tale that he'll move right here and attack me on the ocean or on the side of the map. Which, well, basically Zeus are too slow and so on, and I managed to scout this, so I'm going to have to add more gun tower later on, as I'm already expecting it. Okay. Scout to see what he has. Nothing really crazy here so far. It's just that he's producing more vacuums at this point. Scout revealed that there's like plenty of units here. Solaris from Tiger Like. It's not really looking good. Okay. Some Jaguars pointing some damage towards that Solaris. Seraphim is here. However, they are not completely microed properly for they are targeting that mole. Wow. Disgusting damage, destroying two Jaguars just like that with one skill. Well, let's go and see how many things can this Leviathan destroy. One. And that's it. And it'll die. Yes, it will be destroyed. Of course. The Solaris took a brunt of damage. Cerberus jumping inside the fog but still lived to see another day. And majority of my partner's army has been demolished just like that. Okay. This guy using a gold scouting boost, of course, to move as fast as he can. And that Solaris is now so low on health, re shield run out of energy, then all of a sudden, this is not so looking good for Tiger Life. Although, again, he only needs one more shield to in eliminate my partner because he has too many zoos. Meanwhile, on my end, I actually have a plan in mind, and it's actually the plan that's been working out very well lately. I finally managed to obtain that super container, and this guy is, well, positioning to attack me, and so I'm going to have to try and attack him first before some of the Vikings can even get into a position to get in range of my alligators. There you go. Yay! Yay! Okay, and so just like that, I won my second engagement against Hafid. Meanwhile, my partner right here, Lug Imboy, there you go. The chameleon has been destroyed yet again. I'm gonna have to try and help him out with the wasp, um, dragonfly, and leviathan that I have. Meanwhile, I did not really launch my alligators around here, for my, I am expecting a ton of, well, naval platforms. Okay, let's see the engagement around here. When will I throw the acid? I'm not exactly sure because it is so laggy. However, a Solaris, uh, Solaris makes its presence right there. And so I'm going to have to retreat as again there are platforms around here and newly Vikings that are popping out of the shipyard. I need more alligators to force my way in. Okay, and so some Typhoons around here. Four Typhoons. My Leviathan is still healthy when it comes to the HP and so I'm still not going to be afraid of any vertex rush shenanigans trying to obtain it destroyed one okay yeah that's a power of the leviathan with max out anti-air and so of course those vertex are now going to retreat meanwhile my partner is actually still in big trouble okay as those typhoons are very powerful getting rid of his hawks because they are typhoons can fed tech okay i see no zeus right around here where the hell did those zeus come from or went so there's only one answer to find out it's at the bottom side of the map traveling towards my base and uh this gave me the cue to get more uh hq yeah to get the hq to level five Meanwhile, I went back here to assist my partner yet again. Acid strike. And then, of course, a nuclear to finish up the pesky typhoons. There you go. Kablooey! 
then all of a sudden this attack became motionless or the weight of the attack is lessened now more dragonflies here in my end and then of course adding more alligatoras here on my end as well okay scouted to see what they have however there's not really a good scout as the rifleman has been owned by the vertex all right so i'm probably at this point i'm encompassing hafid with majority of my alligators as i totally invested majority of my command points into them meanwhile i'll have this much again a separate detachment consisting of a wasp a leviathan and a dragonfly to somewhat attack both of them okay used a recovery boost to recover the hp of my leviathan i'm going hq level 5 adding more power plant here as i will be spamming gun towers at this point and i even put up a barracks here to warn me about the initial attack there goes again this leviathan okay that leviathan doesn't really have an anti-air upgrade nor that seraphim has been my not micro has not been microed to its perfection so it took some damage from that leviathan and now those vertex are trying to get rid of that leviathan again because it's resistance tech that's why all right so i got like six dragonflies a wasp and a leviathan here okay and so i'm going to have to try and engage and force the fight into hafid knowing that he will have less on the ocean for he actually invested some command points into this the solaris around there meanwhile i had my separate detachment attack tiger like while majority of his forces are on my partner's base and main, my, my partner's main army is trying to defend his base yes okay so tiger like um is very very much panicking with the anti-air button as I am expecting, those Zeus Typhoons are here in my base. And now, Gun Towers needs to be put up. That's why I upgraded to level 5 so I can have as many Gun Towers as I can. Like 8 Gun Towers in total. Okay. And so, I'm going to have to demolish those Vertex. Again, 4 Vertex will not scare me away. Yeah, only 4 Vertex now. Yeah, 3 Vertex now. Four, uh, two vertex now. Yeah, just like that. Yay! Anti air of Leviathan. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and demolish this uh, Tiger Likes base while my partner tries to defend himself, and uh, it's not really looking good for him because, uh, well, technically, Solaris Imboy. Okay, one vertex now, and now zero vertex. And there's absolutely no whatever shenanigans um, for him to produce more vertex. Meanwhile, I switched to a common defense boost. And even with the presence of that Seraphim, he could not really destroy my Leviathan. Going back to my base, spamming the building, building spam shenanigans. Okay. And if I were not on a common defense boost, those gun towers that I had would have absolutely been demolished. And just now... The Solaris that's been trying to attack my base has been demolished as well as six of my gun towers are firing at it even if it's under the cover of the shield. Well, initially, the Solaris were not even in, under the shield cover um, with the activation of the skill. And, of course, those Zeus Typhoons blocked his escape route by being a body block so he could not really escape properly. Meanwhile, on my partner's base, he's absolutely being demolished here as that prototype facility is nearing its end of life. Mole will also go down. Oh, dude, that was very unfortunate. Meanwhile, Tiger Leg's base is not looking good. With just, yeah, three dragonflies and three, uh, yeah, six dragonflies and a leviathan. So this guy right here tried to force his way in. However, I already repaired the damaged gun tower. So I got like six gun towers here. One shield has been destroyed, and I don't really need anything against those typhoons as they don't they don't really fire on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and by the way, my gun towers are not maxed. Okay, shields have been destroyed. 
His army on the ocean has been demolished as well due to the fact that he has less command points. And, well, he did not really expect that I will have majority of my command points invested on my alligators. Therefore, he did not really have that many platforms to defend himself. Meanwhile, I'll have my Leviathan uh, destroy the rest of Hafid's base, switching to an air raid boost to try and get rid of that Seraphima. Yeah, Seraphim Imboy. Okay. So yeah, I mean, this guy right here, Tiger-like, if he ever attacked my base, it'll be GG. So yeah, I'm trying to produce as many, uh, you know, dragonflies as I can, along with some Jaguars to help me defend against those. However, they already left at this point in time, which means that I actually demolished Tiger-like's base, as well as won the engagement against Hafid and managed to defend my base against Hafid on the land. And uh, yeah, it's just sad that I was not able to protect my partner, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I still have this and this to defend my base in case that he attacked my base from that side, which I am quite confident that I can defend, since majority of his units are crap actually uh, bruised up. There you go, kablooey! Alright, so I'm still gonna have to try and demolish them. Acid's, Acid Burst has been dropped. Typhoon's is gonna be dropped. Majority of the Zeus are here. However, he only has like four Zeus, so it's not really a big threat. What's threat are those the Typhoons. But that Solaris is also low on health. So, yeah. Again, guys, if you liked this video, if you liked this video, again, smash the like button and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for contents like this that has tips and tricks with english commentaries also check out my previous videos as they contain tips tricks english commentaries and guides that can help you win a battle now don't forget that i also have a uh, playlist which includes a whole section or a library of guide videos with commentaries there for both factions too which includes best upgrade to do, or what unit or building to upgrade, best guide for rank 14 and above, also the best build order, and how to deploy your base as fast as possible within the deployment time. Likewise guys, thank you so much for watching, have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battle. Bye! Yeah. Yay! GG Objective complete Devastation ready Victory